Hello everyone, let's turn that off. Here we go, I thought I'd better have another crack at this. Day three, no, I'm doing day 22. <laughs> Honest, Gav. I haven't even finished day one and day two yet. I'm having to say, I'm struggling with this one. It's because these boxes, there are no extra lines, so you can't sort of see. It's just one big blur, and that blur is just havoc with my eyes it would be nice if they were like done in blocks of 10 so then at least we'll we know where we are kind of thing but it isn't so um we have to make do with the best we can and yeah so i've sidetracked and i've started doing the external bits around the edges but um yeah it's I think they need to think this through for next year, to be honest, if they're going to do the same. I love the idea. I really do. But I think we do just need a little bit more help. Especially if you don't do these that often. I mean, I do, but and I'm struggling. I know some will probably find it so easy, but there's going to be a lot of us who are going to get in the same situation as me with perhaps not so good eyesight. And we'll just keep counting the same ones over and over again. Now, I suppose if you've got um, trays placed out with all the drills that you need, that might be easier. And I think I might have to try that and just see if that does make it any easier. Thing is, I've got to find the trays because the other trays that I have got, they're all basically used in my Mr. Yay cross-stitch conversion which I really ought to continue doing that we'll soon be in January can you believe it and um and then in January it's a case of of yeah of um the pennies challenge yeah mustn't forget tonight i was gonna have a shower tonight but i think i'll have to have it tomorrow maybe um or maybe later on actually i could get it on later on actually um and that is because it's um cow sparkles and kitting up kitten are um doing a live t today and i want to I wanted to, um, you know, get in. I hope I didn't say anything like I'd like a cook tray. <laughs> I want a cook tray. I want a cook tray. I'm going to save up for one this um, this year. I need to find the right colour that I like because, um, oh yes, I do like white, but I want to try and see other colours. But I'm a bit scared because some colour trays that I got, which I thought were really nice, like from other places, like Zesty Tray, which, blimey, yeah, saved up an arm and a leg for that one, didn't I? Just for a tray. And um, the colour, I love the colour, but unfortunately, it's a bit impractical. For some of the um, some of the colours and also the design, to be honest. Now I've got it and I'm using it. This bit, I really could do with it not being so narrow because when you go and stick your ten placer, you're only limited to down here because you can't really go up there because you keep hitting that, and so a lot of that wipes out. So um, yeah, but it's only by getting them that you realise these. But I like the idea that um, the cook trays were all in the, um, you know, the, the spout is like in the corner. Oh, that was, the spout was like in the corner and um, it was covered, you know, kind of thing. And you've got a, a lid to it, which I think would be well handy when you're putting away drills or whatever. You know, I'm not sure whether it negate the fact, the negate the use of a um, a funnel, but it might. 
You never know. So at some point, when a colour comes in that I really fancy and say, yep, got to do it and I've got the money, I will then go for it. Yeah, a bit brassic at the minute. Got to wait until my, um, I've got about 20 quid left to get electric, food, actually cat food, um, I think all the way up to the 6th is when I get paid next. So it's like, uh, and I've got lots of bills going out and lots of things. So I've seriously got to, um, I've got to get back on track with listing loads of things on eBay and, and stuff. Just get shot of load of the stuff that I'm not going to use or I'm not using at the minute and just think, you know, if needs be, I can always get them again. Yeah, it's crazy because at the minute things are just sat there waiting for when the time comes when I think I'll use them. And I might as well get shot of them now. Yes, I'll be selling them for a little bit less, but um, but you know, then it's a bit more cash coming in when I need it, as opposed to you know, sat there or me thinking, oh yes, I can make this and that with that, and then I can sell that and get that for it, and you know, that ain't gonna happen. Let's face it, after Christmas, everyone is a little bit on the brassic side. I've seriously got to do some saving up. I'm going to try and not get any diamond paintings for a while. I don't mind if it's drills for, um, for um, cross-stitch conversions. I have enough diamond paintings to be lasting me and I want to get through them. So before I buy any more, unless if I allow myself, I know I keep making plans, don't I, as to what I want, you know, and how much I'm, you know, how I'm going to do it. And I keep changing them. <laughs> but if I allow myself, say, five paintings, maybe not, maybe six paintings throughout the year, so then that would be for when I need the most. Oh, shoot. Um, shoot. I've got a, um, that one's a bit raggedy. I've got about just under $200 off um, points. So I will make use of those as well in my savings. <sighs> yep. Well, on the bright side is that if I do run out of food, if I keep some of that 20 quid and everything else like that, then maybe, I know it's sort of getting in a little bit more debt, but if I do it like um, Klarna it, I can still, I can get like Tesco's to deliver. Yes, I'm paying extra for delivery, but I can at least Klarna that and that can be paid over three months, which, you know, if I pay it as soon as, Possible. I've been paying some of my bills early, so um, when I had the money, I was paying up front early. And here, yeah. so I just have to do that. Yeah. Oh dear, I don't know. I've got to seriously go through all my um all my um payments online, all the things that I I am subscribed to and delete the ones that I don't I don't use and go from there. 
And the sad thing is I use Netflix, but I don't use it regularly. So in reality, I should sort of do that down. I think I've already done it down to um, the lowest level now because they just kept putting it up and up and up. But yeah, I just... And then of course I got Vicky.com, which is the Korean and Asian dramas. Then I have Gaga Ula La, which is another lot of those. Then I have Ai Chi, which is another one. And then I have, what else do I have? No, I don't have Wii TV anymore. But you see, I don't have a TV license because I don't watch TV, really. No. I mean, yeah, I watched some television the other day when the electric went out, but that was Freeview. I don't know what channel it was, but it was NCIS I watched. And um, then that went off and I won't watch that again because it's a pile of pants. I mean, yes, I do like some of these, but, you know, they're all repeats, a lot of them. And... Yeah, they leave them on for cliffhanger, so you go have to go back and watch next day. Except next day, I, I don't, I don't do that. I don't go watch back next day. I'm not going to get addicted to it. Can't handle TV at the best of times. It's a pile of rubbish. I'd sooner watch it. You know, I pay YouTube Premium, which I think for me is well worth its bang for its buck, because. I don't like the ads and I've got so much more choice on there so bang goes that you know what that lands opera sore. I think I had it this morning it certainly makes my mouth sore oh, and dry it's horrible Hmm. Oh. Right, let's see. I think they should have done these more like um, release papers. So if they do accidentally stick onto your thing, you can just peel them off. <clears throat> right, so where are we? Right, I need the ticks. Oh, shh, shh. Oh, no, that was ours. That was right. God, for a moment, I thought I got it wrong. <gasps> uh, no. Ticks are these. All right. Right, so that's one. I prefer doing these first. I should have done. Then we have one. That is all that row done. Then we have that one. Four or five, that one. I've got to be careful because there's a six coming up somewhere. Perhaps I'll have to get that out in 2 a.m. Yeah, let's... I'll get in there. I hate it when half of it sticks. Right, let's get... Uh... Why is it I can't ever find what I need? Let's get... Let's just use this. So, this... I will... I really wanted to keep these because then if I need them, I sort of then, um, I'll put them in here. I can just pick at them and get one that I need. Put them in there. They're for the toy shop at any rate, so, um. Right. 
Right, so let's see. There's number six. 310. <laughs> All right. There we go. So where do we get to? We got to dum dum. That one is a one of those. And then it is a six and a six. Might as well just do it this way, really. Maybe not. I just have to keep picking them up and putting them down. One, well, you can't see in there. See, that's the thing. When it's got the light pad on it or anything like that, you can't really see these. You've got to get them at the right angle. Right, six, six. Tick. Oh, get in there. Tick. Six, six, one. One. For heck's sakes, I can't bloody see. Six. Six. And the rest are ticks. Get in there. Oh, for feck's sake. I didn't. Uh, oh, and that wasn't even a bloody. What? That wasn't even one that I needed. Oh, Jesus. It's that bugger. Gotcha. Right, now, one, two, one, two, three, fourth row. One, two, three. Fourth row. So we have one, two, three. Hold on a minute, what's going on here? One. We're on the fourth row. One, two, three, four. I need something to. <clears throat> One, two, three, fourth row. Right, there we go. All right. One. All right, so that's. One, two. No, I'm not counting that one. That's why. One, two, three, third row. Shouldn't have put those in yet, should I? Done them last. One, two, three, and then we have a six. One, two, three. Then we have a Six. One, one, six. One, six. Then tick, tick. Hold on a minute. Six. This is where I fecked up. Oh, God. <laughs> and breathe. One. 
six. Right, so I need ones again. So I'm going to need another tree. And there's one. Oh, look, there's two. Day bar. Right, so. Right, so we have this one. Right, here we go. Let's get it all near. Right. So we have six, I right, one here, tick one, no tick six, one one, six one six, then it's a tick, which is that one. Then it's one, Shit. one, six, one, tick. Good God, this is. Now, hold on a minute, there shouldn't be a tick above and a tick below. Oh, fucking hell. Excuse my German. Now, is that one in the wrong place or is it the one above it? Oh, this is why I don't like doing this one. Because I need me boxes. I guess I could draw them in, but then I'm scared that they're going to show through. Right, let's just see. Let's just expect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, I can't get my lines straight for starters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? See? <sighs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is where it fucks up. I mean, excuse my French. So there. To there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. One, right to nine. So that's to there. That's to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's to there. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one, two, three, four, five. You see, this is where it's. That's why I need my little ruler. Right, so we've done that on there. Now let's see it on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Now I need a ruler. Where's my little metal one gone? Got a little metal ruler around somewhere. Not in that one. Right, let's see. Is it in one of my bags? I've got them here. Right. Oh, dear. of this shall we oh no because that's going to stick on it isn't it that's the thing <sighs> oh no it won't stick on here because i'm doing it on the paper aren't i Bloody pillock. what am i like right right so here we go one two three four five six seven 10 right, there we go one I don't know if you can see this five six seven eight nine ten. Then we got two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right now we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, so I need to give up a bit. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoops. Let's just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, so there, we've done it, we've done it. I'm going to have to do that all in advance. It might make it easier. If it doesn't make it any easier, <laughs> I'm going to cry. All right, but at least I can do it square by square, which is better, isn't it? She says, she hopes. Right. That's six. One is that one. And that is the tick. Right. So, let's do this one. So we've got one, two, three, four on fourth row. One, two, three, four. So it's tick, 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 tick of the ticks. So that's these. One. Oops, come back. Tick. T. 
pick. Tick. Now, one, two, three, four, five. Five is tick, 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 tick. Exactly the same places. One, tick. I think that black is going to be the number, isn't it? Because it looks like it's coming down to be like 22. Right. God, I need that fan on again. All right, now we're on to the sixth row. Four, five, six. So that's tick, tick. One. God, I've been having a spate of really weird dreams recently. Very strange and bizarre. But, well, interesting, though. Three, four. Four. Tick and tick. Have we just done that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's one, two, three. One, two, three. Then it is tick. Then it is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then it is tick and then one. Tick and one. Now oh, this is much better. Yeah. And now we want one, 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 however many ones. Oh, that's not one. That's tick. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then it is tick, tick, three. Then it is. Tick. Tick, and then it's three ones. Yeah, I'm definitely getting on more with this one, aren't I? I think I'll be doing this one again. Right now, ninth row is one and then it's tick then it is oh dear one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven and then it's six which is black oh dear i wonder what black's doing all the way over there oh well right and then this one let's do it from it's because then that one oh dear and that one is the six and it's three ones one, two, three. One, two, three, four. From this end, one, two, three, four. And then we have that one. So it's like a star flake, I think. Right, so we have done one, one square. Whoop, whoop, whoop.
right so we've done that one let's work our way down right now maybe we ought to do ourselves across because we've got the ones and the twos then we start adding extra ones in there right okay so then we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah all across then we've got one two three four two one one two three four two one 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 six one one six one six tick then we have oh, here we go one 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 and then we've got a six then we've got a one one oh hold on a minute six hold on where are we now five ones then it's a six one two three what this is where i've got lost again one two three fourth row all right let's just go one two three right now fourth row is this one five ones then we've got a tick tick and then we've got a six tick six one two three that's right so now we've got One, 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 so four ones. One, two, three, four. Then we've got six, six. Then we've got one, one, six. Right, so there's that one done. Definitely helps having extra trays out and it marked off. One, two, three ones, one, two, three ones. Then it is a six. Then it is a one, then it is a tick. Tick. Then it is a one, then it is a tick. Then it is a six, and then it is a one. If I can see this damn thingy jig. Right, so that's that one done. Now we're on to one, two, three. Oh, done that one. One, two, three, four. We're on the fourth row. One, two, three. So we're on this one. Oh, so it's similar to the one b above. Okay. One. Oh, shoot the bed. Two. I hate it when it does that. Three. And then it is six. If I can see the six. Six. And it's one, one. As opposed to... One tick, one, one. Then it is a tick. Then it's one, six, one. One, six, one. Right, 
then we've got one one tick one one tick and we've got four sixes oh shit four sixes so there's two Oh, now it's got. Oh! No, he's a trashed. He's got a little divot. Divot. One, two. Come on. Three. Four. Then it's a tick. And then it is a six six. One, two. All right, so that's that row done. All right, now we're on two, six. Hold on a minute. While I'm here, I'm just going to do. The ones underneath because they are the same all right then we got oh one all the way along to the end one two well when you get a swing on these this isn't too bad but definitely i think they'll definitely do with um doing the lines in next year on the sheet and on the canvas six six then it's three ones followed by tick one two three Tick. And then it's one, one, one. And find them up the right way. Two, three. There we go. That's another one done. Right, now we're on to the next row. Right, so. Right, one, two. We're on the third row. Right, all across the top. Oh, sorry. All across the top of ones. We've got that row. And we've got six. One, one. Aha. Here we go wrong already. Tick. One, one. Six, one, one, tick. Six. This is for the second row. Six, one, one, tick. And then it is one, one, one. And it is one, one, one. Tick, one tick. That's right. Then we've got... One, then we've got six. Four, 
four ones. I've got four ones. Four ones. Then it is a tick, one, tick, one. Tick, one, tick, one. Tick. Right, that's that one done. Then we have a tick. Hold on. A tick. Six, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we have tick, tick, tick. Well. This is interesting, isn't it? It's about as interesting as watching paint dry. Oh, we had our um, Christmas party at group yesterday. Oh, God, that was um, interesting. Yes. There's one person who's um, just sort of puts a damper on everything. You know, she hardly ever helps. We have a rotor, tea rotor and a washing up rotor. And we had a Christmas party as well. So we're all bringing stuff and stuff. And um, she was going to be making something, but we weren't going to be making anything because we were having the Christmas party. So, um, but we had to put on the, um, you know, the illusion that we were making stuff because the person who runs the group, um, she's only just come back she's got a birthday on the 24th and um she's just come back because she had a heart attack and so we wanted to have a christmas party a birthday party and a welcome back we love you party and um and so we were doing that so all right so that's a six so we um we're doing that and of course she turns up and because we've already got half the rotors being done of people so there's only like four names left so you know one of them has to do you know two of them have to do the teas and the coffees and the washing up so they do it all you see so two people and it's only fair that way and she gets drawn and then she starts going off and saying that um well because she's showing she's teaching us um she she shouldn't have to do it and she brought uh, the person, there was a young helper that she brought who had been helping her clean her house and everything else like that. It was basically, she's trying to get to a slave, you know, lucky. And um, and she said, oh, no, no, um, this girl's here. She can, She's going to do the washing up for me. And, um, and we're all saying, you know, um, no, that's not quite right. You know, it should, that's not the case. You can't delegate. Otherwise, you know, where would we be? We all have to do it. And we've all got various health issues. So it's difficult for all of us to do it. But yet we still manage. And um, and there's been other people who've been teaching and they've still been on the rotor or whatever. And they've still got up and done what they need to do as well. So, you know, it's a case of, you know, suck it up. And so basically we all stood our ground first time in ages we all stood our ground and um, she did not like it she threw a paddy she threw a paddy and tried the emotional blackmail bit and um, well 
I'm going to go home. And if I die, then um, whatever, you're all for it. And it's like, yeah, you have no intention of dying, basically, love. And uh, it's just to get attention. It's just like petulant charm, not getting your own way. Don't want to do this, I'm going to throw a temper tantrum. And usually people say for a quiet life, no, don't worry, don't worry. But now we all decide to stand up because we're all fed up of it. You know, brings a doom and a gloom, which is very sad because, you know, it's not the person as such that, that is the issue. It's the attitude that, that comes with the person that we have issue to. <laughs> but, well, you know, and I mean, it wasn't just one of us. We're all fed up of it. And several ladies have got upset because of, you know, her attitude. And, um, you know, we're all having a hard time this time of year. So I've been like the brave one and the sort of the one who um, will stand up for them and stuff and say, no, we're not having this. Um, you know, you're on the rotor, you have to do the washing up. Well, I'm going home then. Well, go then. Okay, then. Goodbye. And also another thing is she doesn't like paying her money for the fees for the um for the group. So, um, yeah. I'm teaching so I shouldn't have to pay. Well, I've taught and I've paid. <laughs> Everybody else who's taught has paid, you know. That makes you different. But anyway, so we have to... We've given... The leader, the the um, unenvious char task of telling her that we don't that she can't come anymore, basically. So she grabbed her bottle that she brought, and um, she left. And she kept trying to get the um, the the one who leads us, you know, the friends that leads us, on her own. We were well impressed with her because she stood her ground and she kept her back towards her so she didn't have to and said, no, we'll talk when you're calmer. And it's just like dealing with a petulant child. You've just got to give them away, you know. They need to have boundaries and I don't think she's got any. And we have to give her the boundaries because she's been without boundaries for so long. It's going to be hard. It's, it's being cruel to be kind, as they say. But we've all got a lot of issues going on. We're all struggling. We're all having a hard time with things. And yet we don't demand of the group. You know, the group is there for us when we need it. You know, we're there for them when they need it. But when you've got one who's constantly sort of basically bossing everybody around and demanding everything, oh, it's just... We've just had enough. We've just gone snap. And, well, it is sad, but we all had a lovely party after that, really, to be honest. It was more relaxing, which is a shame. But, you know, there's not a lot, really, we could do about it. Six. I've done six. Hold on, where are we now? Six, six. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, there should be a six that side and a six that side. Why is there a third six? That one shouldn't be there. I knew that I was seeing something wrong and I was trying to work it out, but of course, because I was gassing away, I won't get in there, was I? Well, stick him down there because we know he's got to be there for the two to be exactly like that one. So let's get the other two out. Actually, I put the wrong colour in that tray, shouldn't I? I should have put a light one in that tray dark tray so at least I can see what I'm doing so six six and then we've got one one so he can go over he can go over god but there was loads of food I made shed loads of sandwiches and um people made volavons quiche um there were cheese biscuity things, there was mince pies. I don't think we even got to eat in the mince pies. Um, there was um, big pork pie, cheese, biscuits, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm gluten intolerant, so I couldn't eat a lot of that. But um, I made myself a pack up to take. But it was just nice just to be able to sit and, um, you know, and just... <laughs> 
most crappiest. I got, I picked up some crackers, party crackers, and oh my god, they were the naffiest ones. I mean, they were only four quid, which still I think is is too much for what you got. But they did all bang, so that was something. But the jokes in them were the, the saddest. They had hum the tune or or sing it or hum the tune or whistle it um, of certain songs, and some of these songs were like. Who sang that? Can I phone a friend just to ask who what that song is or whatever? And um, stuff. It was bizarre. And the jokes. And then they had other ones. Tongue twisters. We were all just giggling away because it was just mental. It was just really silly. Yeah. But the air definitely lightened after that lady went. She can't half move when she wants to, though. Cork blimey. She was suspecting us to go after or somebody, one of us to go after, but none of us did. We thought, no, we've got to make a stand and we did. We all had just had enough. But well, even the helper who had help, who was helping her, her helper had um, been helping her tidy up her house because she does some cleaning and um, and she cleaned her house and everything else like that. She got paid for it, because that's another thing. She doesn't usually get paid. You know, she doesn't like paying out. And she got paid for it in advance, she said. And apparently, she did it... I think she cleaned it the day before the party, which was Wednesday or so. And um, come when she went round on Thursday to pick her up, she said it was back to square one again. It was messy again. And she says... <laughs> And as it was, she then got um she got this helper to um pick up some she was supposed to make some um um bait jacket spuds. She was gonna cook some jacket spuds up, halve them and then peel out the middles and mix it all up and make some jacket spuds, hot jacket spuds for the party, that and um make some mince pies or get some mince pies in. And um she basically asked the girl to pick up the items from um, from Morrison's or wherever on her way through to hers to help her, and um, and uh, she didn't pay him for them. We thought that had happened, and so this girl had had enough, saying she's just what I've seen their attitude today because she saw the kick off and all the whatnot and her in her true form type thing. She's and she when she got phoned up by her. Um, she turned around and said, no, I'm not having it. I'm sorry, I've seen how you treat people. And I'm not I'm not going to be party of that. And she stopped with us and had the, shared the party with us. And then she went. And it was like, she was the nicest one. She really was. So we might have another person coming next, next week. Might be her coming. But, you know, and we were sober because she was so young, this girl. And she stood up. She stood up for herself. And we all thought, wow. Amazing girl. Amazing strong girl. And she had seen it all. And she wasn't impressed. So that kind of like vindicated us a bit from, you know, thinking hmm, perhaps we were a little bit over the top. And she said no. So, um, and we all came to the conclusion that, well, if we didn't say anything, it'll just resort back to the same old crap again. And nothing will change. And some of us had basically said we hadn't come on some weeks because we just couldn't deal with it. Couldn't just, if she we knew she was coming, it was just, you know, not knowing that she was coming or not. It would just be like, is she coming? Oh, God. So, uh, yeah. But, well, she needs to have some counselling, I think. Definitely needs some help. But well, right, where were we? One, two, three, four. One, two, oh, we've done that, haven't I? Four, so we're on five. So we're on six, one, one, and then we're tick. And you had the tweezers out for something. Tick. Then we're one, one, tick. One, one, tick. Let's do it this way. One, tick, one. Right. There we go. 
Right, let's try this. So all these are ones. One, one. Uh, one. One. Right, now, where are we now? So that's that row done. I'll stop after I've done all this big row. God, look at that. Four, <laughs> four squares and a bit. No, three and a bit squares. <laughs> it's nearly been an hour. Oh, dear. Right, so we've got loads of ones. Then it's, right, let's go start at the end because it's tick, one, tick, and then it's all ones. Right, tick, one, tick, one, 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 one. Let's see if I can pick all those up in one hit. Oh, I can. Yeah, so I'm just waiting for one more present coming. Um, no, three more coming tomorrow. They're for my little grandson, the new one. Um, see, I got him some bits. I got him things like that, but that looks a bit pokey, doesn't it? And I got him a water mat. And the, I'm so peed off, but the box to the water mat thing is damaged. It's all crunched up. And it looks like it's been silicate back together again. So I'm a bit peed off with that. So um, I've wrapped it up any rate. Uh, but any rate, yeah, so there's that. And then, because he's been getting colic and he hasn't been liking his milk. See, my son had colic when he was, um, we used to call him Windy Miller when he was a baby. And he was trumping really badly when he was little. And um, so um, he, so I got him. See, I don't agree with what they've got him on. They, to a certain extent, they've got him on this anti-colic, um, anti-reflux milk. And looking at the reports on it all, it's, um, you know, it's not very helpful. It, it's People say, you know, it's not, because it's thicker. And if you're giving them it through the same type of teat, they're going to have to be straining more to get it through. So then they're going to be taking in more air, apparently. So I thought, oh, dear. So the poor lad, no wonder he's still got wind and everything else like that. And, and I fed him a bit with um, some milk in his bottle. And he was he was being led down. He was in his bouncer thing and he was being fed that way. And um, and so I picked him up and put him on my lap, got him in upright position because that helps with it, doesn't it? Because it's not going back up. But um, but I, I don't say anything you know, to say, you know, I say certain bits, but I've learned not to say too much because, um, you know, it's, um, I don't want it to be seen as I'm, um, what's the word, interfering. But if it's something important, I mean, like when the eldest boy, when he was a baby, he was well hot and he had a temperature and he was going in and out of consciousness, it seemed. And I got called round, I went round and, um, I literally just took over, grabbed the baby, knew what needed to be done. He needed to have all his clothes taken off. And I told told my son, go get a um, cool flannel, wet flannel, cold, cool, wet flannel and bring it to me. And I started cooling him down and blowing on his face. And my son looked at me and started getting an argument. I said, I said, you can argue with me afterwards. Until now, I mean, they'd even called an ambulance as well. But for now, you're going to be... um. This is his life, not not nothing to do with you. The rest is is crap. I'm dealing with him. And so I got him and I called him down and he started perking up a lot. I said, have you given him cow pole? Uh, no. Get the cow pole here now. And, oh. and then when the ambulance people come, they basically um, said that what I'd done was right and that, um, and that, you know, he's picking up. I don't think they took him in. I think they just double checked him, checked him over, said, keep doing what you're doing and um, and he'll be fine. And just keep an eye on him. He's obviously got a bug and um, or something and make an appointment with your doctors. I think that was what it was. Or did they take him in? And that was the end result was he's got, he's, he'd basically overheated and he got in, he wasn't feeling too well and stuff. And um, so I know when to, when to gob off, shall we say. But I think this one definitely needs doing. So I might have to do it. So any rate, so instead of um, getting him any of the milk. 
because I didn't know what to get him. I mean, there was a case of like nappies, always good milk. That's good. So I thought, right, I looked at him and I thought, no, I'm not getting him that milk. After reading lots of reviews and lots of people from Mum's Net saying about it and all that kind of stuff. And remembering Infocol. We always used Infocol and that stuff was bloody godsend. Well, it certainly worked with his dad. So um, what I did was I ordered some Infocol and one of these bottles, I mean, they were 9 99 but one of these... Um, special anti-avant anti-reflux bottles which has this um special gadget sort of just in which sort of um so it works for normal milk but it sort of takes the air out of it and everything else like that i can't remember exactly how it works but well so i've gotten that even if they use the thick stuff i think it does have a slightly wider teat i'm not sure because i did mention that to him the other day i said well you probably want to get him a bit big of teeth if he's straining too much he's going to be taking in too much air or it's going to use muscles that he really doesn't want to be using and it's going to make him you know tired more and stuff so um don't know what happens there i mean the thing is you never know i never find out stuff they sort of implement things <laughs> and don't tell you oh thanks for that i'd advice or whatever or anything like that because <laughs> for some strange reason they seem to think you've never had children and you don't know what you're doing and you don't know to hold a child's a baby's head and everything else like that stuff and the fact of putting them over your shoulder and the winding putting them over the shoulder helps because it's upright and they are resting against your shoulder so they've got some support and you're not banging their back you're sort of patting it and rubbing it upwards and then patting their bum and you know that all helps it come up and um yeah but things nowadays people do with children you know god i mean because when we were when we had babies i mean we're going back like the 80s but if you went back even even further than that i mean it was a strict thing about child rearing you know it was kind of a you need to do this you know all babies had to be outside in the fresh air and all that kind of stuff and you had to let them cry a bit and stuff and and sadly there was a lot of children who um were crying because they weren't well and um i mean my nan she had three children the first child um basically died because her mum or her husband's mum told her don't go to her, don't go to her. And um and she was actually in distress and um and died. So it's um you know, so we've gone from that stage where things were a lot more, you know, this is this, this is why you do this, this is what you do, and everything else like that, to now when you know, there's a gadget out there which is supposed to help, but the gadget is only as good as the person using it, shall we say, and Oh, it's just mental, isn't it, really? But, well, right, so on that note, yeah. Right, we'll go down to, where are we now? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we've got a tick. I've got to crack on with this, haven't I? So, but, yeah, but it's so gorgeous. One. And then one, one, what? One, two, three, four, five ones. One, trying to find the ones that are upright. Two, three, four, five. Then it is tick, and then it's three ones. Tick, one, two, three. Right, let's go again. Right, come on. Tick. Right, so now we've got that row can go. Six, six, which we've got, then it's tick. Then it is all the ones to the very end, right up to there even. One. Let's 
try and do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one in there. Right, so that's that row done completely. Might as well do the other ones because they're pretty darn easy. So the one row above is all one, two, three, four. Then we've got two, one, one, two, one, two. Then we've got one. And then we've got one, two, three, four. Then all the in between these are ones, are ticks, I mean. If I can get it off. One, two. There we go. So here is one, 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 all along the bottom row. One, two, three, four, five, and then it is one tick. One, 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 tick. And then we've got one, two, three, four. Right, one, two, three, four. Then we have a six and a six. Six, six, one, one, tick. One, 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 tick one. So those will all be those. Then we have tick one, 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 two, three. One, two, three, four sixes. One, two, three. Where are you? Come on. Oh, it's because they're upside down. I'm going to have to change these into a flipping whatnot. Right, and the rest are these. One. Now that is definitely a lot quicker, well, a lot better than um, with it marked off as to what I can do. There we go. Yeah, that is a lot better, isn't it? Yeah. right so on that note i will love you and leave you and i will see you in the next one so have a great few days it's now the weekend so have a good weekend um and oh kitten up kitten on her channel on her youtube channel tonight she's got a live with penny from cow scarf sparkles sparkles so please come and say hi there um and i will yep see you in the next one so please remember to like comment subscribe and share and i will love you even more than i love you already thanks a lot then bye